starts right now. It is a positive identification. The body found in the waters of Lake St. Clair is the banker who has been missing for nearly a month now. This afternoon, the Macomb County Medical Examiner ruled out blunt force trauma as the cause of death. But questions still remain, of course, into just how David Whitlock died. Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn is live in Mount Clemens now where a family's worst fears were confirmed. Dave. And Joanne, it's a case that uh, largely remains a mystery tonight. David Widlack's wallet and ID was found along with money in a money clip. His cell phone was on his body along with his wedding ring. The discovery of the body of the 62-year-old bank CEO in a marshy area of Lake St. Clair is providing some answers. Dental records confirm the identity of David Widlack, but the investigation into his death remains open. There was absolutely no blunt force trauma uh, to the body in any regards whatsoever. So that would rule out uh, either a homicide or suicide by blunt force trauma. Widlack disappeared the evening of September 19th. Surveillance video showed him leaving through the back door of the corporate offices of Community Central Bank. The bank is located about four miles from where Widlack's body was discovered just after 7 o'clock last night by some duck hunters. How Widlack got there remains unknown, but Sheriff Mark Hackle says he may have walked. How uh, he got there, we, we don't really know for 100% certainty. Uh, why he decided to choose that location, or if that was of his own choosing, uh, we don't know for 100% certainty. Uh, but the speculation is, is that uh, he, he walked down to that location in that area, and uh, that's where he uh, entered the water. Toxicology reports should provide more clues on what happened to Widlack, but that will take three to four weeks. Hackle met with Widlack's wife and brother last night, and the family has released a statement. It reads in part, we are deeply touched by the concerns and support that people have shown our family. It continues, Dave was and is loved and respected, and his loss leaves an enormous void in many lives. And the family is urging uh, law enforcement to complete this investigation, get to the bottom of exactly what happened. But tonight, there are many, many unanswered questions. We are live in Mount Clemens. Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7 Action News. All right. Thank you much, Dave. Community Central Bank, where Widlack works, issued a statement today. It reads, the staff, management, and board of Community Central Bank are deeply saddened to learn of this development. And we offer our thoughts, prayers, and condolences to his family. 